Five o'clock. Tom Knapp out of Wenham and Jesuit, B.J. Wiggins. The Evening Report, Monday, August 26, 2013. Good evening, everybody. Our congregation's at 5 o'clock in North Massachusetts. We have a temperature of 79 degrees with a humidity of 60%. Wind speed southwest about 8 miles per hour. Barometer 293 inches. 2.64 degrees. Visibly 10 miles. And heat index of 81 degrees. Oh, wait. Let's take a look at our radar scope and show us a couple of lines of rain shots in East Central Connecticut, switching in South Central Eastern Connecticut, switching in Eastern Iowa, and another batch of rain shots in the Seven Hour Run Out of New York, switching for the Schenectady and Albany, switching down for the East Seven Quarter from Albany down in the Yonkers, New York, switching to Nova, New Jersey. And a couple of batch of rain shots in South Central Iowa, switching off the Jersey coastline. But to the west of us, a couple of bob of rain showers and thunderstorms, stretching from Eastern Michigan, north of Detroit, switching for Southern Ontario, switching to Southern Tier, New York, switching for Syracuse, and switching in the Adirondack, then stretching into Kingston, stretching up into northeastern Ontario. Air, and it is moving to the south. East. And we will be even getting a little brunt of this rain here. And a couple of line of rain showers and North Dakota stretching in Northwest Minnesota and a batch of rain shots in Southwest Michigan. And another batch of rain shots in Southern Louisiana stretching down to the Southeastern Texas down to Northeastern Mexico. And the rain continues the from the South Central California, stretching from Eastern California down to Southern Nevada, down to Southwestern Utah, stretching on Northeastern Utah, down to Southwestern Wyoming. And a couple of rain showers in Northern Arizona. And a couple of rain showers in Western Washington and Oregon coastline here. Syria is warning that an American military intervention would bring, quote, and a couple of batch of rain showers in North right. Central Alberta and Central Saskatchewan. And a couple of popcorn cluster shots storms in Ontario and Quebec. And as you can see, caught on camera, the suspect is accused of a brutal stabbing a revere man inside his local home. And a couple of batches of clouds covered in New England, stretching in covered in New York and Pennsylvania, stretching to Ohio, Michigan, and Indiana, Illinois, and stretching into Southern Quebec near Montreal. And another batch of clouds in eastern North Dakota, down to Oregon, South Dakota, down to Northern Minnesota, stretching in through Manitoba, stretching in Northern Ontario and Quebec, stretching through Sus Central Saskatchewan and in Alberta, down to British Columbia. And another batch of clouds in Southern Montana, stretching through Eastern Idaho and Western Wyoming, down to Nova Utah, down to Eastern Nevada, down to California, and a couple of batches of clouds in Arizona. And another couple of batches of clouds stretching from Southern Florida, down to Cuba, stretching through the Gulf of Mexico, and Southern Texas, down in Mexico. Here. Okay, remnants of Ferdinand, movement 9 miles per hour, 295 degrees. Wind speed 30 miles per hour, wind gust 40 miles per hour, pressure 1,009 millibars, and it's drenching near at northeast of Atapan, Mexico, with light rain here and torrents of rain here. The judge released Tom Rousseau. Tom Gray, movement 4 miles per hour at 335 degrees, wind speed 40 miles per hour, gusts of 55 miles per hour. So turn an eastern hit for Japan as a tropical storm or a tropical depression here. Any way you slice it, here. Hazardous weather outlook. We are. Day one tonight, showers and thunderstorms may produce pockets of heavy rainfall tonight. This may lead to poor drainage and urban flooding, particularly areas south of the mass pipe. In days two for seven, Tuesday for Sunday, no hazardous weather expected at this time. And then early tomorrow into the morning commute, there could be some downpours around. Now, right now, we're seeing some showers in Connecticut, also some action in. So tonight, seven day forecast goes like this. A chance of showers and thunderstorms and showers like the possibility of thunderstorms after 1 a.m. Some of the storms produce every rain, bunch of fog after 5 a.m. or us. Cut us down below in 6 5 degrees southwest wind about 6 to 11 miles per hour, chest of space should 70%. The no rain fall mass between a quarter and a half an inch possible. Two days, showers and thunderstorms likely main before 1 p.m. Some of the storms produce every rain. It's patchy fog before 9 a.m. of us. Most skies got behind the rain 7 degrees. Calm wind about coming northeast about 5 to 7 miles per hour in the afternoon. Chance of precipitation 70%. No rain fall mass less than a 10 inch checks up on miles possible in thunderstorm. Two days that, patchy fog before after midnight of us. Patchy skies got below in 6 4 degrees. Light available wind becoming northeast around 5 miles. By the evening. Wednesday, a chest of showers, then thunderstorms also possible up to 1 p.m. Patch of fog before 9 a.m. of watts, plus the sun's got 92 degrees, north wind about 3 to 6 miles per hour. 
afternoon. Chance of participation, 40%. New aim, five months of less than 10 minutes. Checks about months possible in thunderstorms. Wednesday night, I checked the showers of thunderstorms mainly before 10 p.m. Patchy fog after 10 p.m. Mount of Wilds. Popped class guys will own 62 degrees. Light available wind. Chance of participation, 30%. New rain fall mounts up between the 10th and the corner and checks 10 miles possible in thunderstorms. Thursday, a slight touch of showers and thunderstorms. Punchy fall before 9 a.m. of wires. Part of the same skies are near 80 degrees. Shed's perspiration 20%. Thursday night, most skies are low in 59 degrees. Friday, most of the same skies are near 81 degrees. Friday night, part of the skies are low in 59 degrees. Saturday, most of the same skies are near 84 degrees. Saturday night, part of the skies are low in 62 degrees. Sunday night, most of the same skies are near 84 degrees. Sunday night, part of the skies are low in 62 degrees. And Labor Day, a chance of showers, part of the same skies are near 84 degrees. So, Beautiful weather on tap for the Deutsche Bank Golf Championship in Norton. Peters, what a phrase of that. A showery and stormy night on the tap for the night. This is PJ. What's up? You have a good night. Have a good evening with a good positive attitude.